Hi. Hello. How are you? It has been a minute, hasn't it? I have not actually, I don't remember last time I posted. Um, not important. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, my name is Amanda. This is the Amanda Made It podcast where I discuss my knitting, crochet, spinning, dyeing, now a little bit of sewing, all kinds of crafty cyber art endeavors that I get into. Um, <clears throat> so I haven't been on in a while. Uh, you know, there's reasons, kids, summer break, mental health, all kinds of things. Um, but I did want to come on because I, I come, I'm coming to you from Rhode Island. Uh, so part of New England, um, it is now October 12th, I think. And so we have hit that, that part of the year where you break out your sweaters and your knits and your winter stuff, and then you can't wear it, you know, for a good chunk of the day. Um, but you get them out and you get them ready. So, you know, I recently took out all of my sweaters and shawls and hats and mittens that I had made last year. And I, like a good little doobie, I wash them with wool wash. I block them or set them out to dry. And I put them in a clothing storage thingy with cedar wood blocks to repel pesty things. Um, and, you know, then I took them out when it was time to. And uh, it, it came to my attention as I, after I did that, that a couple of the things that I finished last year are just not fitting me the way that I want them to. Um, and it's not a size problem. It is a um, execution of a technique problem. Actually, it's not even that much of a problem. It's just a matter of personal preference. Um, so the first sweater that I, this probably, this was kind of, this was my first, this is my first cardigan. Um, and I did it using Ann Bud's, um, something, you design your own sweater using stitch counts and stuff. It's a book. They have, it, you know, you go by sleeve types and things. It's a set in sleeve. Um, this was done in um, Vitalana Celestial, which is a yarn that was from Knit Crate. Uh, it's a, quite a high percentage of alpaca. It's a very nice, warm um, cardigan. I love the sleeve length. I like the actual fit of it. The only thing I can't stand it's way too short. Like, it's, I, I had made it to be cropped, not necessarily being somebody who wears crop things. So that was my fault. Like, I was lazy <laughs> and I just wanted it to be done. And I thought it's alpaca, it'll grow. And it did, but not that much. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just not comfortable for me to wear in my current wardrobe and body space so I do have plenty of this yarn and colorway left so I am actually considering ripping out the bind off which actually I don't remember what the bind off was I really hope it's not too it looks almost like a tubular bind off actually well that's gonna be a bitch but anyway I, I think I'm gonna rip this back and fix it so that I, I can enjoy wearing it and be comfortable wearing it. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's humbling and frustrating to know that you spent a lot of time on something and energy and effort and that it doesn't work out. But that's what happens when you are not an expert at something and you're newish. I mean, I'm not a new knitter, but I'm certainly new. I was certainly at that point new to sweater knitting and fitting and size and what I actually like. You know, that changes over time. It changes on depending on where you are in your life and, and what's going on. And so the best thing about being a knitter or a crocheter or a fiber artist of any sort is you can fix your shit. You can fix it. 
And that's great. <laughs> it's a skill that we have or we can learn um, that not a whole bunch of people have. So my second item that I finished at the end of the season last year that I was not able to wear at all last year is the Tulip Cardigan by Wilma West Western West, uh, Westenberg. Wilma, I had it pulled up. Yeah, Wilma Westenberg. Um, she has like a whole line of garments made with this tulip square. It's a crochet, crochet pattern. Um, you might notice that it doesn't all look crochet <laughs> because I am not personally a fan of how crochet sleeves look. Um, it's just not something I enjoy. I don't like the way, and I sure as shit don't like doing crochet ribbing. I do not like it. And by this point of making this sweater, I was confident enough in my abilities to be able to knit sleeves to go on this. And they, the sleeves are fantastic. The sleeves are everything I wanted them to be. They're the right length. This is done in linen quill worsted. It's beautiful. I, I love this sweater. My concern is that the collar or the, the band is, uh, which I also knit, doesn't sit right. And I'm not comfortable wearing this because it doesn't sit right. So I think what I need to do is add on more around this and make this more of a like a shawl collar to feel comfortable pulling it up you know I mean I also wonder if I'm not actually wearing this correctly <laughs> I don't know um it could very well be that I did not make the right size for me or that I really screwed up in uh the assembly but I don't think I did I mean, it's super cute, right? Like, it is very cute, but I know that I am not comfortable with how this band sits. So I do think that I need to do some sort of modification, and I'm not sure what that is. Um, and I do, like, my ribbing didn't stay together the way I wanted it to. Um, I think I did a knit. Did I do a knit too? No. I don't know. I don't know why it's all funky. So anyway, I'm going to be ripping that out and fixing it at some point. Probably February of 2023 because I follow Roxanne Richardson and she does finish it, fix it, or frog it February. And it's really nice knowing that there's going to be a period of time where I'm going to deal with the crap that annoys me and fix it. So really those are those are the only two things from last year. I think I completed I completed five sweaters last year and a couple of shawls and things like that. And and really the old these are the only two that I want to fix. And it's only because of has nothing to do with the patterns or the yarn. It is strictly because of me as a knitter, either or, or crocheter, not knowing how I like things to fit and also maybe how to swap out crochet stitches and techniques for knitting, uh, knitting stitches and techniques. I mean, the sleeves worked out great on that cardigan. Uh, the neckband did not. So I have more skills in my toolbox to fix them. So I will. Um, there is one other thing that I would like to fix. I have to go get that. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay. So last year, I also got, you know, as one does, intrigued by sewing, um, intrigued by making my own clothes, 
making clothes to fit my body. You know, I'm sorry, there's a really dreadful glare on my glasses and I'm trying to deal with it. And I'm just gonna have to, sorry. Um, and so in getting into sewing, I, I, I'm part of a group uh, where we took part in Cape Timber, uh, which was started by Shannon Makes a couple of years ago as a sew along. Jillian Eve um, has joined, joined in with her as hosting it this year to make it a make along. So you could knit, crochet, weave, um, sew a cape. Um, and they expanded it to be not just a cape, but, you know, a cloak, a, a poncho, things of that. Anything that went over your shoulders with a fastener of sorts, I guess. Um, so I decided I wanted to try it. I got a pattern. I got some fabric. And I tried it, but I was really wanting it to be a very quick make. And it was but it shows that I was not into it. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I, I've never worn a cape. I've had ponchos before, but again, they never, I never really wore them. Um, so what that means is I was very lazy in my finishing on this item here. Like I didn't put the toggle closure on it that I had bought to put on it. Um, I really like this is all bunched up. I don't I don't think I, I don't really care about that. What I do care about and I think you'll be able to tell once I hold this up fully is that bottom hem. <laughs> looks atrocious. <laughs> uh, it's definitely like, <laughs> I used thread that didn't match. I used, I don't even know why. I think I used a zigzag stitch because I forgot to change the dial instead of like stopping and ripping out that seam. I just did the whole fucking thing in it and that was terrible. Um, <laughs> And when it was done and I realized that it was not what I wanted, I was like, I don't even care. <laughs> um, I think I probably, this was again, uh, uh, you know, like I had to cut this extra triangle out to cover up a hole that came in here. And I don't know why that hole was there. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, uh, there was a lot of me being like, I can just fudge this and then being completely wrong about that. Uh, and I'll own it. Like I, I wasn't, my heart wasn't in this project. I was doing it because I was a part of a group of people who were doing it and I wanted to play along and I put pressure on myself for no reason. So I would like to rip out that hem at the very least and do a much nicer looking hem. I don't know if I would, I, you know, I actually considered wearing it the other day and then I was like, I can't with that hem. It's too embarrassing. So, um, that may get fixed sooner than February, but the point of this video really was to show that as I, you know, most people wouldn't consider me and I wouldn't necessarily have considered myself a beginner knitter or crocheter last year, but I was a beginner spinner, be beginning spinner, um, a beginning dyer and a beginning sewist. And the techniques in knitting and crochet that I was getting into were more advanced than things I had done. Um, and I messed up things. I messed stuff up. I substituted yarns. I substituted techniques. Um, I got lazy. Uh, you know, it, it's just one of those things that happens when you're new at something. Um, and it's okay. And I just want people to know that it's okay that when you're a beginner, things are not going to be perfect. They're not supposed to be perfect because you're beginning, you're learning. It takes people 
decades to be able to get to a point where they might be considered by others an expert, but they still don't even consider themselves an expert. Um, so if you're new at something, knitting, crochet, spinning, I don't know, if you do bobbin lace, if you do um, nail binding, nail binding, that, the thing that's like predates crochet. Um, if you are into anything, anything that you are new at, I don't care if it's building robots or um, collecting coins, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna, there are gonna be missteps and it's okay. I'm giving you permission to suck at doing something and not be happy with it and then being able to fix it if you want um, and learning from your situation. Uh, hopefully I'll be posting more. Um, I'll show you some progress on those. Maybe I'll do podcast type things where, again, where I show what I'm working on. We'll see, but I just felt compelled to put this out there. So I hope, you know, if you're new here, thanks for checking it out. If you are coming back, thanks for sticking around, even though I haven't been on. And um, I hope between now and the next time that I see you, that everything goes well for you and that you are in a good place. And if you're not in a good place, that you have steps to take to get you in a good place. Talk to you soon. Bye.